so yesterday I was supposed to get I I honestly got up and then went right back to sleep when when we said we was gonna get on, but um I really hit I went with my mom I woke up well I was up one night because fucking my sleep schedule, and then I went with my mom to go do what she had to do do laundry and all that shit, so she went she cooked and she like my dad came home I hung out with them ate food. Went to and then I was just laying in bed, just chilling, and then I fell asleep. No sheets because everything was in the laundry. And then I woke up and like everything is in my room already. I'm like, why is there a blanket on me? <laughs> and I had no time <laughs> of when someone came into my room because normally I like I kind of like jolt up, right? but but fall back asleep afterwards when someone comes in the room. I'm just like, yo, when did someone come in my room and put the sheets on me, bro? I got scared. <laughs> It's the it's the lean, it's the it's your lean drinking. Oh my god, I haven't done it in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Fucky. After I got home, we just uh, I was expecting my schedule to be, um, you know, like home, whatever. You know, my home routine. I took a yeah. nap, um, and then I I was expecting to wake up. Play some Overwatch, watch some, some more of of, of you, mm-hmm. which is honestly new season went a different route. It went a whole different route without any spoilers. If you like murder mysteries, then I I would recommend the latest season of you. Um, not for me. And but all I did was play uh, uh I played Overwatch and then I opened the Hogwarts and I went to bed. I was like, "Fuck oh. it, let's, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to bed early, and I'm gonna hit up Shane." And I was like, "Yo, we're, we're, we're gonna make, we're gonna do a podcast. We're gonna power wash, and we're gonna fucking talk for an hour about nonsense." And uh, I don't know if you could talk nonsense for an hour. <laughs> We've been talking nonsense for the last twenty four years each, so that's, that, <laughs> you can that's do it true. for an hour. Yeah, right enough. Who else got on last night? Uh, I'm a lead. None of the regular crew, Mikel, Gio. Mikel was on. I started party, never joined. Gio was on. I started party, he joined. Mm. Oh my god, I'm, I'm crying. I haven't stopped crying since I woke up. I think my body's just sad. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's my yawn, but I know for a fact my body's just sad. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Same thing happened to me when I was playing Hogwarts yesterday. Like, I was just playing a little early. And then all of a sudden, like, my eyes just started tearing up. And I'm like, yo, why am I crying? It was nothing sad happening in Hogwarts. <laughs> I just started crying. And I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> you see, the difference is I'm crying. There's probably a reason that my body's just creating tears. And it's probably just remembering who it is <laughs> <laughs> say who, who am i oh god i'm freddy yeah let me just let me just get this out real quick <laughs> uh speaking about crying it's probably it should be happy i'm not doing my usual morning routine um and speaking about that guess who managed to fucking who basically guess who managed to finally because like all right so i've gone to like planet fitness here right mm-hmm but I haven't gone with, like, my membership, even though I have one. Yeah. I've gone with, like, my sister, or, uh, I just, I just walk in. I, or I forget. And I was like, you know what? Do I have, what kind of membership do I have? Because I, I be paying for it. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I have a black card membership for Planet Fitness. <laughs> what the? <laughs> so if you ever want to, if you ever want to hang. <laughs> Yeah, I finally got into my account yesterday, and I was like, I wonder what the fuck I have. Like, I'm starting like taking full advantage of it, cause like I'm tired of my basement. I guess I, you know, obviously spent money on it, but uh, there's no room for improvement. Mm. Well, yeah, th- I think like the basement sets, basement setups are mostly for like just maintaining your. It honestly is, cause all I've been strength. able to is maintain in my basement. Yeah, you're not doing like full like enhancing your strength. You're just doing basic like basement basic keep up on like where you should be at. That shit three times fast. Basic basement, basic basic keep up. Yeah, 
it, it, it that's just what it is. At least now you know because I remember you saying, "Yo, I have a Planet Fitness, Planet Fitness." Yeah, uh, actually, membership. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> I just been paying it. <laughs> yeah, apparently I've had two, and I tried to reactivate one by accident because I thought because I was just like, "What's wrong with this one?" And I was like, oh wait, that one's from Texas that I cancelled. So I was like, ooh, let me... I almost opened up a second one by accident. Oh, nah. Yeah. But then I was like, which one's my original one? So then I started I started cross-referencing the dates and the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, which one are you? And who, then I was like, who, okay. Who killed my membership? <laughs> no, I did, but I was trying to figure out which one was still alive. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so if you were down to go, uh, I don't know if it has handball courts. And Pat has not sent me the handball courts. Pat's lacking, bro. I also just realized handball is a sport played with like four people. Yeah. No, but like not the way we play it. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, they play with like a, a paddle or something. Like Some that. European ass shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's like soccer, but not soccer. But you throw a ball. Yeah, you can't enter it as the goalie area and all that. Yeah, she got me upset because I was just like... Because anybody in Jersey that I've asked, like, uh, said, like, yeah, I play handball. They were like, what? And I was like, yeah, it's like tennis, you know, and then I explained to them. And, and then yesterday, I was like, yeah, I play handball. And they just like, oh, that's cool. And I was just like... Okay, she un at first, I was like, all right, they understood handball. That's like the first person in Jersey understood handball off bat. And then I get home and I see a video on handball, like on my on my Instagram or TikTok, and I was just like, I wonder if they thought this was it because this game looks gay as hell. Yeah. I mean, that, this game yeah. looks stupid as. Well. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. We play, didn't we play it in school? They had us try it like one time. Yo, if we did, it's significant to my memory. And they did. I... <laughs> The it wasn't thing. a peak memory. It wasn't a core memory. I tell you no, that it, much. It was a core memory for me because one, because you know how like they put us in teams and all that for like all those sports stuff, right? Yes. And um, what you call it? In one of the games we're playing, there's a girl that was on my team, and we're just playing just casually. And this is high school, right? Yeah, high school in Navy. And um, I don't believe casual. It was competitive or nothing. No, it was catchy. Fucking high school. <laughs> and um, the girl is like, we're like, score! You gotta throw the ball. You can't move it. Like, you can't take two steps. You can't take two steps without either dribbling the ball or passing or something. You gotta do something within two, two steps. So we're like, you gotta shoot the ball. You're close enough. She throws it full power at the goalie's throat three times. I want her on my team. <laughs> we felt if I was so ever playing handball, I want her on my team. <laughs> we felt so bad for the kid because he's like, he got hit the first time. He's like, yeah, no, nah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. And then the second time, we were like... It's Scott Sterling, my brother. <laughs> it's Scott Sterling you're playing with. We're like, you sure you're good? You, you good? You good? That's the second one. He's like, yeah, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. And then the third one... And then he kind of like, he's like, nope, nah, that, that one, nah, <laughs> nope, <laughs> not doing it again. <laughs> if you haven't looked up Scott Sterling, I recommend it. It would change your life. All right, you said you had some topics. This is a, this is the first time you said you have topics, and I'm, I'm worried. All right, yeah. Okay, so I got to put my controller now. Let's pick up my phone. Because um, I, I Googled, I'm not going to lie to you. I Googled, um, what did I Google? Um... Topics for podcasts, right? You know, mm -hmm. I was like, you know, I, I, I'm gonna see. What I'm, I'm, I try to get some references. As as a starter podcast, that's the stuff that we should be looking up. I don't know what kind of podcast these topics were based off of, but they're so they're so they're like hard hitting questions. What? No, 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 that I'm is not for like, us. I'm scared. <laughs> Look at the the first one. Um, first of all, they're advertised with hashtag Stand with Ukraine. So I, when I saw that, I already knew I was in the wrong area. <laughs> By all means, I stand with Ukraine. You know, like you know, go Ukraine. But if your if your website advertises that to me for something that like as dumb as this, then it's not related. I'm, the, I'm on the wrong page. Yeah. So it says here: Are there any questions you want to answer? Maybe you want to know how some live streamers make so much money. What? Huh? That's like the number one rule is you, when you don't really talk about your your net worth yeah, or income, your income unless you're yeah. uh, broke. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> unless unless you're a dickhead. <laughs> Yeah. All right, and then it's like, all right, topic and issues you care about, right? 
I was like, mm, probably like the fact that they moved the game back. But no, they, they said, are you moved by climate change or gender equality? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> So let's talk about that climate change for a second. <laughs> I need someone to explain to me why it was fucking 60 degrees yesterday and I could have gone to the beach. And then I went to bed cold. Honestly, yeah. I, <laughs> I went out. I was like, it to be cold. I went out in a sweater and sweats and I was like, I'm hot. But I'm already out the house. I don't feel like going back in. <laughs> and then I went to sleep, woke up. My window was open because it was hot. And then I woke up and I was like, <laughs> like I was in fucking Alaska, fucking freezing my ass off. I'm gonna give you ten dollars. I'm gonna bet that sound you made is probably a, a character's laugh in One Piece. <laughs> I've heard it all. I've heard all the laughs in One Piece, bro, and I'm pretty sure that was that's one of. Them. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I, they're, they're gonna have no problem at the Super Bowl. It's not even gonna be fucking cold. Where is the Super Bowl this year? Which beats me. But uh, whoever you... it is, it's not gonna be cold. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, I'm hosting my little my, my little get together, but uh, my yearly my yearly Super Bowl event. Uh, I'm guessing you got word on what time you're working. Yeah, I think I'm getting out at one. Okay. Were you the only person that has that hasn't heard? Oh, uh, I saw it in the chat, but I just wanted to confirm. Oh no, yeah. I think I'm getting out early. Um, so, so I'm still hosting it. Fuck it, I should've ordered. Wait a moment. <laughs> I'm crying again. <laughs> I tried to order like a three foot long sandwich. Mm -hmm. <sighs> the hell? Sorry, we're stretching. I tried to order a 3 foot long sandwich and um, it was like, you need a 48 hours in advance. And I was like, alright, good enough, 48 hours, I'll pick it up tomorrow at like 5. Mm -hmm. And they were like, pick up tomorrow at 6.15. And I was like, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> you know what time the Super Bowl starts. <laughs> so it's taking 15 minutes to go to and from there. Not to mention, the bi I'm going to miss the goddamn national anthem. <laughs> 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 I give two shits about the national anthem to be honest, but oh god, we man, that got serious real quick. <laughs> is it? Oh yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the socioeconomic status of America is just crazy right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, apparently, America like saying Smith. we in debt, bro. America saying we in debt, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> nah, bro. She broke. I'm up. <laughs> Me on my way to Canada. <laughs> Dead eyes. <laughs> I got my little water. I haven't ordered breakfast yet. What do you eat for breakfast, Shane? Like, what's your typical like? I'm in a rush. Well, no, we're gonna go. We're gonna do. I'm in a rush breakfast, and then we're gonna do like you can sit down and make whatever the fuck you want for breakfast. All right. What's your typical? I'm in a rush breakfast. Uh, toast, bread. Well, All right. Toast I should have never fucking asked. <laughs> well, I'm in a rush. Yeah, I only got like. Five minutes, that's what I gotta... Yeah, but like, if you out and about, you go, you wanna buy something to eat or some shit, my, my, this motherfucker said toast. Well, if I'm making breakfast at home, then yeah, I'm making toast before I go to school or some shit. If I'm going no, out like, to, If I'm going, like, if I'm going to school and I have to buy breakfast, I'm buying, like, 15 a, minutes. Yeah, like, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. You got 30 minutes, what you getting? <laughs> well, normally, uh, normally it's longer because I'm ordering on the way to the train station, so I just pick it up when I get there. Uh, I'm getting like a bagel and cream cheese, or I get a sausage, egg, and cheese, wake up, wrap from Dunkin' Donuts or something. And probably an iced coffee. No, no, I should mention Dunkin' Donuts. Let's talk about Dunkin' Donuts breakfast. For a second, for like a split second. I don't want to get too off top. Well, what's your call? Dunkin' Donuts breakfast? What's your call? Garbage. What's your call? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but it's like a good, it's like. Over. Is overrated good or bad? <laughs> it's overrated. It's overrated, yeah. But if coming from a chef's stamp, uh, standpoint, I get what uh -huh. you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> coming from your chef's standpoint, I get what you're saying. But if you're like in a rush, like early early morning, or you just don't really care what you get, where you where you're getting your food, you're just getting something to eat. It, it's it's good for what it is, to be honest. I go to a deli to make an egg and cheese, respectfully. Like I said, yeah, but, like. 
Like, the, I don't, the thing is, you gotta go like, in. Like, a... It's like I'd rather have a McDonald's breakfast than a, than a Dunkin' Donuts breakfast. Even though yeah. Dunkin' Donuts, you know, people run on Dunkin'. People, I cry Dunkin'. myself to sleep from the bad food that they have. Well, the thing is, I haven't eaten breakfast. Well, Dunkin' Donuts breakfast since I graduated college. So I'm keep I really... it that way. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> 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 Mister. I like Starbucks. Nah, I don't start breakfast. I don't like any of those places like breakfast. Like, a breakfast I haven't had. I, I haven't had Starbucks. I don't, oh. breakfast. I don't know. <laughs> I've had menu popped up and I can't close it. <laughs> I've had Starbucks. I've had the the, the 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 bacon and gouda. You know, everyone talks about bacon and gouda. It got like nineteen grams of protein and oh, shit. Which honestly is not bad. Like if, if you want to go for a break, if you're a a, a, a meathead, mm-hmm. um, and you count your calories and stuff. I sound like Andrew Tate. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and. I think Starbucks breakfast does a really good job at doing that. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts breakfast is like here, it throws the bag at your face. Thank you. You want you want you want a donut? Is that <laughs> yes, please. How talking about, about donuts, you fucking talking, animal. He's like, yep. Wait, talking about donuts, I I saw like a post about like people uh, comparing donuts to like sodas and energy drinks and all that. I didn't yeah, know donuts, donuts are healthy as fuck. I didn't know donuts were that healthy. <laughs> yeah, but I think I think it's an old fashioned. Like no, like just oh yeah, donut. yeah, yeah. It's definitely just old fashioned. No, like sugar, no cream, no what the frosting. That's what it's called. But still, I, know, I didn't know donuts right. were that healthy, bro. <laughs> I mean, at, at at the end of the day, you basically just got like fried bread. Oh yeah. It's just fried bread. You ever had a niche? A what? I've never had one, but it's, it's spelled Kanik. Kanish. That was quiche? close. Quiche? <laughs> no, there's a niche, and then there's a, a quiche, and then there's a... Because quiche is Q-U-I-C-H-E, which yeah. is egg. It's an egg that's, pie. That's, that's what I'm asking. Uh, is that changed what my mind. About? No, I'm saying a, a niche, like, like, like niches. Like K-N-I-S-H-E-S. Yes? No, no, no. They're bad. like little fry, little dough triangles. Sometimes they're filled. I think they're European, maybe Polish. Huh. Nah, never had it. Alright, I guess. <laughs> Alright, now, you would go for like Dunkin' Donuts breakfast. I'd walk right past Dunkin' Donuts. I would, I would stop at Dunkin' Donuts to get my coffee. But I, I, get I, it. I would walk to like a truck to get like, yo, uh, let me get a bacon and cheese. Okay, yeah, but that's the thing. Thank you. Like, if I'm on my way to school, I'm just getting Dunkin' Donuts because it's right there by the train station. I went I'm, to I don't even Tech. like the train station at Dunkin'. I went to City. I went to City Tech. No, City. Yeah, City Tech in Brooklyn, literally J Street. There is. Well, I got off High Street. There was nothing nearby. What do you mean J Street Metro Tech? And there's not one car outside. No, I get off High Street because everybody oh, gets off J I Street. Is J Street is the popular one? When I'm running late, I just get off High Street and just walk. To my building because the building was right near it. Fair enough. Yeah, so I, I never did that because I didn't last more than a semester at a college. So. Fucking feeler. I just <laughs> wanted to bring it down for a second. <laughs> now let's bring it back up. The Powerball is crazy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker just changed topics. What, what do you? Okay, what do you have? Okay, say you have like an I'm hour. For breakfast, what do you mean? Yeah, see, that's not enough time. Okay, well, no, that's what I'm saying. You have an hour for breakfast. Need, what I, are you getting? I need a morning. Answer the question. We're getting to that. I. Fuck. I'm when I come like I'm not a breakfast head like. But you brought up breakfasts. We gotta finish this topic. I, I'm, not, right. I'm not gonna leave this yeah, topic. Let me fucking finish. I'm not a breakfast head, but like I can appreciate a breakfast at like m- midday. So, a brunch. so let's just say, so like yeah, like a brunch. So like we're going savory, obviously, right? Because like you, you shouldn't go sweet. The only thing sweet in your breakfast should be your beverage to cut mm-hmm. off all the the all the all the salty savory that you're eating. Yep. Or like bitter, you know, the coffee or juice. Uh, but like a, a breakfast, I have an hour. I have an hour for breakfast. I'll go. Can I get it from anywhere? Yeah. Is the travel time from my location 
either New York location or Jersey location, like starting point either from New York or Jersey, is is that taken into into consideration when deducing the amount of time that I have to get this breakfast? We're talking. You wake up. You have an hour from when you wake up and do all your morning necessities. I'm not getting um, that breakfast. <laughs> you have an hour from then to when you finish your food. That type of hour before you have to leave. Our type of hour. Okay. Um, waiting a platter. Um, I'm going to Vaughn College. They had a sausage egg and a home fries platter for like six, seven bucks. That shit was fine. It took like 15 minutes to make, but it was good all the time. I got it with sunny side up eggs, right? And like no like light on the peppers and onions, cause like Pop Smoke said, I taste good. Ain't no onions on my sandwich. Okay. Um, and we live and breathe by Pop. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, we don't live and breathe by Pop Smoke. I'm not. I'm not weird. Um. Yeah, I, I just don't like peppers and onions as much. Like, raw. I like the flavor. Yeah, and it was like home fries. Or like, hash browns home fries, you know? It was like sliced potatoes that were nice and soft and super, super savory and well seasoned. Egg! So, these up. So, I can, like, mix it with the potatoes. I like a wet breakfast. I just like wet food. Okay, you can. Um, uh, and then like either the part I do sausage because I just feel like I'm getting more with sausage. Uh huh. I don't feel like you get as much with like when you order bacon. Cause like you can control the bacon, and right? you can cut it in half, put three slices instead of putting like, and they say oh you got three slices of bacon, but in reality it's just like a slice and a half. Yeah. You can't really do that with sausage. You get the sausage patty and that's what you got. You know that's what you get. That's it. And it's a good size sausage patty. It's like having a little. Boiga, on your on your little on your little sandwich. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, whoa, ladder. What the fuck? Hello. Did you pick up a ladder? Yeah. Wait. Stop. <laughs> you really about to push me off this goddamn ladder. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I think I just, I I'll get that breakfast platter that I would get when I when I went up to ah uh, when I went to Vaughn. Mm. Did you move the ladders just so you can get on this side? Oh no, wait, where are you? I'm right here. Oh. It's already taken like an hour. I'm going to Josh. Josh breakfast was was it? Josh Maybe. breakfast was good if you didn't mind soggy bacon. Uh, I never. Did I get used to get bacon? Yeah, he used to get, no, I got used to get, he used to have sausage. Cause his yeah. bacon was never like, like, you know, oh yeah, true, I would get sausage. His bacon was never like crispy. It wasn't like undercooked, it was just soggy, it was softer bacon. Yeah. If you didn't fuck it, but like something about what he did to it, I don't know if the fact that he didn't like wash his hands added flavor to it or something. <laughs> he always wore gloves. <laughs> he <laughs> never <laughs> <laughs> changed Yeah, he never changed them. Yeah, but he still this wore man gloves. Would ha this man would take my money and give me my sandwich with the same hand, like. <laughs> I don't know if it was that they were to take the same thing so much better. I'm yawning so much. Oh, I don't know if it was that or the sandwich that made the that that. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was um that that made the sandwich taste better or if it was like I I've tried to imitate. Like there would be times where I would sit there and stare at him make the sandwich. I wouldn't even look at him. I would just look at his hand <laughs> make the sandwich. Then I would go home. <laughs> And try to recreate it and it wasn't the same. I would cut the bread the same. I would put the butter on, on the way he does the same way. I would cook the egg the exact same way he does it. Flat top and everything. I wouldn't cook the bacon the same because um, I was like, I have, li I have freedom of liberty to make my um. Maybe that's it. That's, that's it. You have to, you have to imitate it. No, the but then I made it with the bacon the same. And it's, it's not the same. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, my control I, group. I gave up. I gave up. Like I tried it like once or twice, never worked. I was like, nope, not even gonna attempt to do it again. I'm gonna just make it Every time I make a, every time I make a bacon and cheese, I attempt. <laughs> I don't make them often, but every time I make a bacon egg and cheese at home, I attempt it. Cause it's one of the best like street bacon egg and cheese in like that I've ever had was Josh's bacon egg and cheese. Oh yeah, definitely. This Haitian I think, man who I think went I to know. AV. I think I know what it was. Made the best 
we woke we were waking up early to go and stress in school and that 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 was our savior so it just made it taste good i also bought that shit like 11 a.m when i would cut uh, oh yeah you i don't think i should say that too. i think i just shut up <laughs> <laughs> matter of fact let's talk about that <laughs> the topic when it comes to breakfast you gotta talk about high school Cause that's the only time you can you can seriously enjoy your breakfast without having to like rush to something or whatever. It's high school. What are they gonna do? Fire you from your third period class? Like no, what the fuck? What did you do? Were you were you that student that uh that like went to class? Uh, yeah, I used to go to class. <laughs> I gotta say that because mom came in the room. I swear to God, the next word that comes out of your mouth is, I used to go to class and I met you. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I did go to class. Oh, thank God. It was more like senior year. I used to work cutting more often. I used to come in late anyway, so I never had to reason to cut. I finished, what? I finished my science and math early. So, like, by sophomore year, that's what I mean. So I didn't have to worry about those classes. Everything else was just English and uh, social studies, geography, and all that shit. Oh yeah. So I didn't <clears> have to <throat> really worry about focusing on classes so much. I could have came in whatever time I wanted. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck did I do? I used to. I never skipped shop. Oh yeah, definitely never skipped it. Yeah. Like obviously, because we couldn't graduate. Unless we were, um... FAA already. Fifth year. Exempted, exempted from that shit. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, the people who the people who were exempted from shop, they didn't have to take shop to graduate. We did. Oh. That's yeah, great. we had to get, like, a 65 in shop to, to graduate. Well, yeah, now, what I used to do is, uh... I'm getting to... Uh, fuck. All right. What I used to do is my 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 freshman year, I cut all the time. Uh-huh. But I would only cut because I wouldn't have to be in class. The only class I would cut would be my my algebra class. I was uh, such a fucking math wizard. Uh, I don't want to flex, you know. I got I got a book with my face in it, but for math awards, um, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, so I I, I I was so good at math and stuff that he would give me a worksheet on the on the unit, the new unit for that for that for that I guess month or whatever, and he'd be like, "Can you do this?" And I'd be like, "Yeah, I think I can." And he'd give me a test, and then he'd ask me a few questions, and then I'd be like, "All right," and then he'd give me a laptop, and I'd sit in the back of the classroom and just watch anime uh, while he teaches the rest of the class. And then the end of the class, a quiz, you know, the, a closing quiz, I'd, I'd pass it. And then I'd go about my day. I would cut that class. That class, he let me cut. I would always, he would let me, like, he was like, hey. Um, sometimes he would be like, here, here's, like, 20 bucks. Go get breakfast for, like, both of us. I was I was just, like, his assistant at that point. I can't get up this ladder. I'm Help. I'm up here. That's why. Yo, jump real quick. <laughs> <laughs> You're not on the ladder, bro. You're good. You're you're a solid two foot two feet three five feet above the floor <laughs> six stop. Well, I'm using it. Yeah, but when it comes to senior year, I cut because I didn't want to go to class. It was uh, English and uh, government. I cut both of those. I played handball in the morning with my good buddy Joel. Sometimes Michael. I fell. Yeah, I cut to play handball to come back for like lunch, um, and then I'll go to shop. And because I was like a little, uh, you know, a, a little dumb high schooler, 17 too, because I had a late birthday, we'd go to the park, um, we'd roll up, and we would play, and vibe, mm. every morning, Gilman, so if that officer is listening to this, go get him, they're in schoolman right now. <laughs> The main class I used to cut was English senior year. I just never went to it. Would you pass the class with knowing you cut that much? Like, what was your final grade for that class? Oh uh, well, I used to get all the work done, 
even though like because I had I knew people in the class, a couple of my a couple of my friends, teacher? Novak. Yo, same. I right, I need to know what you passed with. Uh, I well, swear to God, she was flirting with half the students in my class. Well, since I knew the pe since I had people in the class, they just gave me the work. So I did I did the work. I had the work done and all that. Whenever she asked for it, when I would go on the off chance I do go, like I have the work done. I I knew all the like all the reading and all that. Um, she gave me an eighty, I think. Even though I cut that much, I used to cut. Nah, I don't. I I don't think she likes you. Nah, she never. She never did like me. She hated my girlfriend. Yeah, cause she, I got a seventy-five. She and I cut all the time and never did the final project. She told, uh, well, X now, but BB, because we, yeah. you know, that that group project self. She was in the, advanced the, fuck, AP lit or AP English or something, it's called. Um, she told she was in the group and the group wanted to present. She told BB, oh. Back up far enough into the board so that you can blend in, so I don't have to see you. Oh my god! Oh my god! No way! Yeah, nah. Yeah, that's what she told me. Nah, right, bro, get the fuck out of here, bro! I would have swung at the teacher if you said something like that to me. Something along, the, something along that lines, I think she said, and and then like BB was pissed off about it. I was pissed off about it. Like everybody, like that was in our class because. I, again, I knew people that was in her classes, and um, they came up to me. This is like her class was just after, just before shop, so my friend Deepak, he comes up to me. He's like, "Yo, you gotta go check on BB. Like, um, something happened, and all that." I was like, "What happened?" They're like, "Yo, Novak just uh, told her like, basically, you said some racist shit to her." I was like, "What'd she say?" She was like, "Okay, so we had to do the project," and I was like, "Yeah, she she was stressing about that shit." She was like, yeah. So Novak said, blend in with the backboard more. Why don't you? I was like, oh. As an English teacher, yeah. I could I, I could know what she could try to get away with when she mentioned that. Because like one thing about presentation is the color of your presentation. And it has to be suitable for the eye. You know, it can't be too bright, can't be too dark. No, 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 no. Maybe no. that's what she was going for. But no, no, back to She was definitely going for the race card. Yeah, she was definitely going for the race card because you know the the blackboard in English. It's it's black. It's literally black. <laughs> it, it well dark greenish, and she's like, well, you know, it was no presentation. Presentation. It was a stand up, have the thing in your hand, and then you read off of it about the project. That's crazy. Oh, that's wild. <laughs> I was like, yo, you gotta go, you gotta, like, you gotta go swing at this point. Like, I went and found her, she was, she was like, what happened? I was like, I heard what happened, like, what's going on? And she told me everything, and I was like, yo, you gotta go swing or something. And she's like, nah, 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 I'm not gonna really do it. I'm like, do it, what the fuck? At least go tell somebody else, like, go tell the principal some shit. And she's like, yeah, I'll go do that, and she never, I don't know if she did or not. Because I literally had class that, like, that minute, so I couldn't go with her. Oh, well, I see. Damn, that's fucked. Yeah, no, bro, Novak. Was... I don't even. I don't even think Novak knew who I was. Oh no, she definitely didn't know who I was. Cause I, I was friends with uh, Daniel. Oh yeah. My most mm -hmm. favorite colorful man out there. She she likes uh, Kendrick though. That's one good thing I found out. So she's not racist, unless she yeah. thinks Kendrick's white. I doubt. Cause it. his nickname is Kung Fu Kenny. I doubt it, bro. It's the she whitest shit I've ever heard. She's Super gotta hard. look up his profile and go to his song. She's had to do that. Alright. So, the thing that I'm holding is I am completely off topic, but we're gonna get right back on topic after this. I turn on the light because um, I, I looked down at my desk and I was like, oh, my check is here. So I just deposited my check real quick. Mm -hmm. You know, grind never stops, right? <laughs> <laughs> so then I look up and you know when we hit. Well, when you have longer hair, um, if you have longer hair than me, you, you can see your hair in your peripheral. Mm -hmm. So I see a hair, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I grab it, and I, I like, pull it to see if it's mine. And it's not. Who's? Because this hair is, like, three times, four times longer than my hair. I'm trying to figure out who the fuck hair is on my head. Who came into my room? Because <laughs> this wasn't here yesterday. <laughs> my door is locked. My window is locked, both of them. They came so I'm trying to figure out who came sat, into my room and just you. sat, just stood over me. 
and just dropped his <laughs> little piece of hair. It's like, he'll remember I was here. <laughs> trying to figure out if I have any crazy exes in Jersey, and I um, realized I don't have any exes now. <laughs> <laughs> now. Now, actually, I do have one crazy ex in Jersey. Well, in New York and Jersey. I can't escape. I go to New York. She could be there. I could be in Jersey. I, she's probably there, too. <laughs> I'm not going to name drop them. No, 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 no. And crazy as in, um, I'm a calm person, so anybody above me is a little, a little crazy. I'm also crazy, so crazy, you know, crazy sees crazy, right? Yep. What is it? Gotta... Game recognizes game. Game recognizes game. Yeah. Well, I'm not super crazy. Mm. That pause... Really, just like denied my sentence. <laughs> that one, that like, if I didn't pause, it would be like maybe he's not. It was like maybe I'm, I'm not that crazy. Pause. Like, right, this, this motherfucker. Is like, Great. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the classes. I got a 75 in Novak, and I didn't hand in the final, the final project. I didn't hand in the. Uh, I didn't hand in shit. I didn't do any of the homework. I did the readings because I actually liked the books that we read. Uh -huh. um, and I really wanted her to say the N-word in front of the class so bad when we were reading Catcher in the Rat. Was it Catcher in the Rat? Yeah, I think it was Catcher in yeah, the Rat. Yeah, Catcher in the Rat, yeah. We, like, hold it and stuff? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Okay, Catcher in the Rat was one of them, it was, but it, it, was, it wasn't the one where I wanted her to... <laughs> I wanted to hear that speech, that famous speech for every English teacher. Students, there's a few cuss words on the next page, but I'm going to read it for the, the experience of the book. And I said, shut the fuck up, you just want to say the N-word <laughs> so bad, huh? You white entitled. I th I think she has a, a a new haircut now, so she doesn't have the carrot cut, from what I've been told. I think she grew her hair out or something. I haven't seen her since high school. Stupid. Uh, <laughs> it was um. Uh, to kill a mockingbird. Then it got me thinking. Us Latinos, not Hispanics. Or are we Hispanic? Am I Hispanic or Latino? I don't. Don't tell me you have an identity See, crisis now. I but no, I didn't have. I thought I was Hispanic, and then all of a sudden, people was like movement on Spanish, and I was like, why? I feel like things were good the way they were, and they were like, no, we're Latino, and I was like, am I Latino? And then I have to look up the, I have to look up like the, the definition every now and then because like if I'm ever having a conversation with a stranger and I call myself Latino and they're like, mm, incorrect, I'm knocking them out. <laughs> it's like, mm. it's like, bro. Mm, knock gonna, out. <laughs> like, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm from Ecuador. Take it how it is. Whatever I am, Spanish. I'm not. I know I'm not Spanish because that's like European Spanish, Spaniard. Yeah. I just don't know if I'm Hispanic or Latino. Because la Latino or like Hispanic or people, it's so stupid. Let me look this up. <laughs> or, well, for, for, my bad. I listened to a podcast yesterday before I went to bed. You know, as I mm -hmm. always do. Well. Actually, no. It was pretty recent. I haven't done that always. Actually, no. Lies. I started off with, like, stand-up comic shows that I would listen to in the background. And I guess it became podcasts probably, like, three years ago. Uh -huh. But, yeah, so I was listening to the uh, the, the podcast Hey Babes. Uh, Salvo Cano and uh, Chris Stefano. Pretty funny. Pretty good shit. Recommend it. Um, and they were talking about the difference between, like, like Spanish, uh, Latino, and Hispanic. Uh -huh. And they were like, La Hispanic is someone who, like, speaks Spanish, and I think maybe was born somewhere that wasn't the original place. And then Latino is someone who is, like, like, someone from one of the Latin American countries. And then I started thinking, what the fuck is a Latin American country? <laughs> is that South America? Is that Mexico yeah, or Mexicans, Latinos, or Mexican Hispanics? Uh, I'm guessing like from Central America down. What, what about, okay. South, 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 yeah. South, uh, Central America, South. Now, Brazilians, what are they? They're South American, so Latin. Well, why do they speak a European tongue? Uh, Portuguese. What is, yeah, is Portuguese then, like basically Latin, well, English version, European version of Spanish? Portuguese is, is, is I mean, all languages derive from Latin, which derive, which Spanish is, is a direct derivative from, um, if I'm not mistaken, I haven't really done much research in a minute. But, so, 
I'm assuming, yeah, because most languages originate from Latin, and the the closer you are to Spanish, or I forgot what language is closest to Latin. Mm -hmm. It might actually be Portuguese. Yeah, I think it might be Portuguese. Yeah. I was gonna say French, but it might be Italian. Mm. Nah, you're right. Who be kidding? What the fuck do they know? <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to be really racist. Uh, stop it. I have no beef with Italians either. Like, I don't... I love their food. I just, I just paid them off, the man. Stop this. Oh, you paid the Guidos? That's definitely gonna get me hung. You... <laughs> they look at me. Are you okay with this man saying, I don't know what he said, man. He was just a guest. Whoa, man. I don't know that, man. I've never seen him before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back. <laughs> we had some technical difficulties there. Uh, Shane started lagging. I got kicked out. That's crazy. Um, it's crazy that you got kicked out and I'm lagging and all that because I ran a speed test and normal numbers are like, well, on the speed test is like 70s and all that. I ran a Google speed test, Ookla speed test, and Spectrum speed test, and they all said... Wait, I have the numbers. Uh, where is it? On Spectrum, 82 download. Okla, 82 download. And on Google, 78 download. Which I find crazy that I was lagging. Because normally I don't lag. You know this. I'm finding it crazy that you that you aren't that that you aren't lagging. Because 82 download, anything under 100 is no bueno. Yeah. I mean, if you're by yourself, then I feel like that's alright. But. Oh yeah, I'm the only one that uses Internet the most in this house. Well, fuck it. I don't even want to. I don't even want to start talking about Internet because I'm gonna go on a whole rant. I'm paying. I'm paying for the, for what is it? Twelve hundred, the two hundred megabytes per second. One thousand. That's one thousand two hundred megabytes. That's just over a gigabyte of Internet. A, like you know. I'm, I, I, it's not an Internet a gigabyte, a month. No, that's how how fast. Mbps sure. megabytes per second. It's supposed to be, and I'm getting like 67. Yeah, and you lag crazy. Sometimes, actually, the other day I had what? I had Netflix on the TV. I had it open. I wasn't watching anything. I had Rocket League open. I was game sharing, and I was on my phone like with with Wi-Fi on, and I wasn't lagging at all. And I was playing with you. That's the. Uh... I don't know, man. Well, no, like when y'all came over, in that, in and that I didn't lag like at all. But the thing is, in those games, we were we were in uh, botched lobbies. Everybody had above hundred ping. But even then, I was playing by myself, and I wasn't lagging. Uh, yeah, but I'm just saying, in those lobbies, it was botched because we had a hundred plus ping. Oh yeah. Normally, I don't have a hundred plus ping. I have like twenty. I'm in the twenties for for servers. True. But yeah, I don't even want to get into internet. That's just dub. I'm gonna lower my package because ain't no reason I'm paying. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'd rather pay a percentage already. of it. I keep forgetting to, and also I think I'm in a contract, mm. which is gonna end, I think, in the summer. And you know, when they end the contract in the summer, they they raise the prices of your internet and shit like that. That's what they do. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be like, nah, cancel my shit. I'm dropping my package. Um, Come pick let up me the get box. the 400. <laughs> I'll keep in the shit. box. <laughs> yeah. So that. Uh, yeah, so we're back. Uh, we just ordered a little. I ordered some breakfast. Uh, I was kind of hungry. Uh, we, you know, we had our little potty breaks. I had Sarah Internet before coming here, so I'm good and stuff all right thanks for pointing me out specifically it's fine <laughs> we're friends are four yeah. <laughs> it's been a while since our last podcast how long has it been if you remember off the bat uh, i know it's been almost a year a couple months probably you know what you know what we're just gonna check i have the access to check i'm gonna check while you check i'm gonna talk to myself who is probably listening to this podcast in the near future 
Hey, bro. How you doing? Are you, are you just? Are you happy? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that to happen. <laughs> I was gonna start crying. Just like, hey man, how's it going? Just, is everything good? Are you uh... happy? <laughs> You're like, oh, I forgot. I think Vanny does those where they actually like the same questions like a year apart. Oh uh, nah. They did it with um Billy Eilish. I know that because I've seen the Billy Eilish one. Mm-hmm. Where they asked her a bunch of questions when she like first started, like how many Instagram followers do you have? Like, are you happy? Uh, do you, are you single? Do you have a boyfriend? Whatever. And like every year, they vanity gets her and they ask her the same questions. And then you see like the update of her life mm-hmm. and stuff. So yeah, I'm trying to do that. This isn't vanity, Freddy. <laughs> so I'm talking to my future, Freddy. Can't be talking to past. But, okay, uh, so this isn't vanity. Last uh, last podcast we had was six months ago. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, we were not really consistent with this. I mean, we were not getting paid for it. I feel like if we were getting paid for some shit like this, consistent as fuck, always. Oh, yeah, definitely. I've been releasing one every week. <laughs> every day. <laughs> I'm Nah, I've been releasing... Okay, so I, I feel like if it were up to me, if I was getting paid a little more than what I, I get paid now... Mm-hmm. And all I had to do was link up with record me, podcasts, record podcasts. Uh, yeah, like link up, actually record and edit it ourselves and post it and keep that on a nice schedule. I'd fucking do it. Mm-hmm. As much of a hassle as it would be, I'd fucking do it. That means we'll have to like build the computers and stuff like that. Yeah. Just so we can get better um, editing software. Now I'm upset. I was almost Twitch partnered and then school. <laughs> <laughs> if I would have known I wasn't, I wasn't gonna take that school seriously, then you I would have just continued. I would, I would have continued with the Twitch. Well, that's that's the the consequence that comes up with it. If you want to be Twitch partner or like YouTube partnership and all that, I guess that's what the main overloading question is like do you want to stop what you're doing in your life like school wise or job wise and continue with this or do you want to just go back to doing what you know what was doing oh my god don't get me wrong i fucking love cooking but i've had so many like different like i want to do this i want to do that but one thing that has never changed as like anything to do with not just content creating but just like comedy comedy humor um like youtube i think is really fucking dope to do i would love to do i would i would have loved to do some you know something with youtube but i feel like i'd be i'd get bored but then i would have like cooking to to be like all right i'll just go do cooking well, remember when you, if if you were like, say like you were to do like stuck with Twitch and all that, right? It would have been like you could have taken cooking onto Twitch, and then hone your skill that way. Then trying to get. Oh my god, that'd be so funny. Drunk, cook- I wouldn't be able to get into school, bro. You know for a fact, I'm it's gonna be drunk cooking every weekend. It'll be the uh, only time I drink. I'm like talking like in instead of like worrying about like. All your school stuff and all that, like going to school for like cooking and all that, like you're trying to do right now, you could take it to Twitch and learn that way. Cause you're honing your skills with other people that tells you, oh, you should do this instead of that, and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that's that's a good way of doing it and all that. Prompting you have a support. I just might do Twitch that. Chat. I think I might just start recording my my recipes. Uh huh. Someone's like, hey, bro, how'd you make that? I just sent him a video. <laughs> and it starts off with like, here he goes, hey, what's up, dumb dumbass? This is how you make the food. First, you put the bacon on the grill. Okay, I'll come Next, on. good, good. <laughs> Yo, ah, let me get a bacon and cheese on a honey bun, the Aki way. <laughs> that sounds fucking disgusting. It does. Mm. I fucked with honey buns. I fucked with like bacon, egg, and cheese, but I, uh, something about the bacon honey bun. It just, it just, it just sounds weird. 
Yo, you know what's weirder? What? Mac and cheese and tuna. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, it's very specific. <laughs> okay. That, it made me. Cringe. But it hasn't. It hasn't. It hasn't left my head since I heard of that cynical combination. Ah. <laughs> uh. Like my eye hurts though. <laughs> my eye hurts. Oh. This man straight started switching. <laughs> all right, but in 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 their, in, their, in all defense, it wasn't in at the same time. There was like okay. a break in between. Okay. It's like a mac and cheese and a tuna sandwich. I didn't eat it. I'm not a monster. <laughs> I ate a bowl of. of <laughs> I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking, bro. I'm tweaking. <laughs> I ate a bowl of a uh, of slice of slice of uh, chicken breast. <laughs> Uh huh. We had rice. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all I had. <laughs> I was my like, dinner. We had rice, but it was cold, and I was impatient. Oh my god. What did I have last night? I had stew turkey and rice. Yeah. Well, not last night. Yeah. But so yesterday afternoon. <laughs> so tuna fish sandwich. And goddamn. Bowl of mac and cheese. Oh no, it was my it was mac and cheese. As the appetizer, <laughs> and a tuna fish sandwich as an entree. Like I don't even like I'm not like a chef, but like, but that, that that's making me tweak. <laughs> I'm, Imagine me when I first fucking heard that shit. <laughs> if they ever listen to this, yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking specifically about you and your devious goddamn ways. <laughs> But then again, by all means, more power to you. Yeah, we break the fourth wall here. <laughs> this is the fourth wall, yeah. <laughs> oh shit, there's a little quad bike that we haven't washed yet. Oh yeah, it is, well it's the quad bike and the, and, the, and the obstacle course. Unlike the last map where we just did the house and forgot about the whole koi fish and everything. It got quiet again because I was focusing. <laughs> the satisfaction of this game that we... Oh my god, this game. I wouldn't do this as a job because I feel like I won't get the same satisfaction... Um, ...outside of this game with this. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the fucking dings! Oh, I'm getting dings left and right, dings. bro! I'm from Buzz. Jesus, I know you hear it too! Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's so good. Fuck. What, why did I just stand up? <laughs> we have to like wrap up. Mm -hmm. Let's get this like one last topic in. Who do you got for the Super Bowl? Uh, I say the Eagles. I'm going for Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> Not gonna lie, like my sister. <laughs> when it came to football, my sister likes watching football, right? <clears throat> Sorry. Um, and. She's always like, "Oh, what team? What team do you like?" And all that. You know, I said, "Oh, well, Tom, well, Tom Brady was peak at the time," and I was like, "Oh, Tom Brady's actually pretty good, but I like the Eagles." She heard Patriots. She bought me sticker sets. She's bought me like, pa uh, Patriots like uh, stuff. Like, is that why you have a bunch of Patriot m merchandise? Yeah, and I I went up to her one day. I was like just thinking about it, and I hit her up, and um, I was like. Do you think I'm a Patriots fan? And she was like, are you not? I was like, no. I've been an Eagles fan this whole time. Because of Michael Vick. He carried that team for so long. Oh, um, he really did. Yeah, that, and that's why I like the Eagles. So I was like, yeah, no. I don't like the Patriots that much. And she was like, oh. Fuck them colonizers. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, why'd you say something early? I was like, I did. And you still bought me this stuff. And she's like, oh. Oh well. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Nah, I got I got money on Patrick Mahomes. You wanna do a little friendly wager? Live and on on the on podcast. podcast? <laughs> I come back and edit it out. <laughs> uh, That's crazy because I have the clip. <laughs> <laughs> what do you wanna do? 
I'll go ten bucks. Sure. Ten bucks. But then around halftime, we can adjust our bet, but we can only go up. Okay. <laughs> Because like, uh, like, really like, like uh, gambling, don't you? Because <laughs> like, if I'm betting on like, um, on Patrick Mahomes specifically, only Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> only Patrick Mahomes, not not the, not the, uh, If I'm yeah. if I'm betting on Patrick on, on Pat Mahomes, right? And I got like I I got ten dollars. You got ten dollars on, on the Eagles. Um, right? And then all of a sudden after halftime, the Eagles are like, they they like losing. Or you're feeling confident, then we talk. If my team is losing, I feel confident they're going to pull through and your team is winning, you feel confident that your team is going to win. Then after half, like around halftime, we decide, all right, do you want to raise the bet to ten, like five bucks? Like five bucks more? Or if you're feeling that confident? No, nah, or, or we just bucks. keep it at $10. I'm, I'm, all right, I'm $10. $10. I got Eagle. I got, I got Patrick Mahomes. I don't even know what team he's on. I just fucked with Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> Wait, I knew that. Is it? No, I fucked with him because this man does not give up, bro. He got his leg folded, came back into the game, won, right? Uh, um, then, in the, in this last game, for the finals, or for the semifinals, Chiefs, for the game Chiefs, before that, Chiefs, the quarter, Chiefs. yeah, this man sprained his ankle, ran the ball, and won the game. Okay. No, but he sprained his ankle, like mid-game, and then later in the game, he ran the ball. Oh, yeah, I think I, I think this man does not want to give up. Yeah. I want to see That's the it. same kind of performance in the Super Bowl. All right, I guess we'll see. Ten bucks it is then. Who's in the halftime show? Rihanna. Oh, wait, wait, they were serious? I thought that was a rumor. Nope, it's serious. Bad Girl Riri is going to be in the halftime show? Bad Girl Riri is going to be in the halftime show. Ah! <laughs> she was my first crush before crush I what crush is the thing, bro. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Rihanna. Different breed. She was gorgeous. Yo. I don't want you to sit there and be like, you're, you're lying. Yeah, you're, you know, like. Nah, nah, you're, if you don't start right. speaking up. <laughs> nah, you're right, you're right, you're right. She got it, she got it. She, she, she. <laughs> she, I mean, she never lost it. Never Ever lost since. She released that song with Drake Work. I. Oh yeah. Oof. Oh my god. Like I was a fan for when she released the song with Drake. Um, where he's like, you know, the square root of sixty nine is a song, right? Because yeah, I've been yeah, trying yeah. to work it out. Uh, yeah. Gooey, white one. Yeah. After that song, I was already hooking Rihanna. Um, but then after work, bro. Yeah. Who's going out with her? Um, ASAP. ASAP Rocky, yeah. Oh my god. Lucky son of a bitch. Lucky <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> She's still pregnant or she had her kid already? I think she had the kid already. I'm not as I'm sure you could double check me on that. My. It's quad bike that says it's not clean. All right, well, for there, we'll wrap it up. Oh, yeah, so we'll just wrap <laughs> it up there. Um, <sighs> Freddy. This has been another episode of the Extra Dark Show. <laughs> Is that what we're calling it? Like? <laughs> I'm Extra, <laughs> <laughs> and he's dark. Which is weird, because we don't talk about anything darker with God in this show. Or in this little hour that we get to ourselves. Five. Sorry. <laughs> this is where we leave. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Until next time, here. whenever we forget or remember. Oh yeah, that yeah, we're definitely gonna forget and remember. Do this like six months later. <laughs> yeah, I literally texted Shane last night before I went to bed. I was like, "Be ready. We're recording a podcast tomorrow morning." I never responded. I saw the text. And never responded. <laughs> you saw the text at like four in the fucking morning or three in the morning, <laughs> and I texted you. Sounds good. And you're like, bet. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, I never responded. 